welcome once again, fellow girls, guys, and gamers. This is Small Archangel. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Die Young. It's 11.30 in the morning, and one good thing can be said about this Lara Croft as Tomb Raider-esque sort of pit of doom that we find ourselves in. At least we're not going to die of heat stroke anytime soon. Um, now, the question is, can we get back out? Because it occurs to me that we've got a box here which we can maybe get on top of possibly i'm not sure why we want to but hey we should push it out perhaps i don't know uh but yes it occurs to me that maybe we need to try and get back out the plank we came in on collapsed um because i'm beginning to feel like i perhaps ought to have saved before we came in here and uh, i just wasn't sure that we were going to end up sort of stuck in here obviously so Let's just go back to our little campfire out here. Um, and perhaps also, if we can, take some water. And some, where is it? It's here, it's here, it's here. There we go. And where's our water point? It's kind of up top somewhere, isn't it? So that's what we're going to do as well. So, quest update then. What we're actually doing, I'm just standing in this nice cool water. Not that I think it makes any difference to her in point of fact. Um, we find a way into the cellar, which we've already done, and find out the origin of the noises in the cellar. So we're helping out the uh, old guy who wants us to help him before he helps us. Whether he's actually got any bona fide info that will help us out, we don't really know. We're kind of, uh, you know, sort of hoping really that... Uh, yeah, that uh, he uh, he does actually know something useful. He might just be being manipulative for all we know. No one seems to really want to give us anything very much at all, uh, in point of fact. Now, I can't remember where the water is. I think it's up beyond the house, or is it the other way? Let me just check the map. We are going the wrong way. Yeah, it's this way. Um, so, uh, so, yes. <clears throat> The trick, of course, is by the time we've uh, drunk some water and got back there, it's probably we're going to probably be at the same level of dehydration as we were previously. It's so hot out here that we just dehydrate immediately. What we need is some of the white gear that these guys are wearing because they obviously, you know, know how to dress around here and we don't. Our little peak cap is helpful, but it's not... Uh, yeah, there's a bush there. We can take that all the way back. That might help. And there as well, actually. Okay, and we've been in that barn, which has respawned its rats. But I don't think there's anything useful around here we missed. We might be able to climb up on top of that, I guess, possibly. Okay, where's my water point? I found it straight away last time, and now I've come straight past it, haven't I? Yeah, it's over here somewhere. In front of this, yes, there it is. Okay, so, hmm... Yes, I don't know really. I'm not sure if uh, we can actually. Um, that's not quite full. Let's just properly fill our hydration there. There we go. And refill the bowl. Nice. Okay. So, I'll just have a quick look, but I don't think... There's beams in there, but they don't have scrabble marks on them. Here it looks like there's some jumping we could do, but where do we start from? that I'm not sure yeah see that's not looking particularly likely to me unless we can get up there and we can't and we can't get no the massive massive skid tells me she's going nowhere there right okay so let's get back to where we started and hopefully we won't dehydrate en route there are some bushes we can take and if I do this by walking we should conserve some water and you would think, wouldn't you, that we wouldn't, that the shade, walking in the shade would also help us out. But there we go. Yes, isn't it pretty here in Apricot Valley? Oh, look. We could actually eat apricots off the trees. Now, that makes sense, doesn't it? But that's the, that is not the only one we could eat off. Oh, nice. I didn't notice that before. That is fantastic, actually. So never mind berry bushes. We could eat fruit off the trees as well. Oops. Okay, here we go. So I've quick saved again. So if the worst should happen, we will come back to the best sort of possible scenario, if you like. We'll come back to being, um, yes, pretty well hydrated 
and things. Uh, let's just drop down here. So we know we can get out of there. I don't need to crouch anymore. There's some sort of pulley here, but I don't know how to... Ah, now it looks like we, can get, we can't get up from there, obviously. But perhaps from over there we could. And then, yeah, where we were before, I think that we should be able to push this. Yeah, there we go. Look. Now this is... And that did what exactly? <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what that actually did. Maybe we could lift that up, but I think maybe the mechanism is elsewhere. Uh, or maybe what we just need to do is stand on that, but then we need to raise that, surely, to be able to get up there, to be able to push that box down. Oh, my word. Why do we need to push that box down? The mind genuinely boggles. Uh, okay, I don't know, but we're going to have to find out. Uh, who contrived this, really? But yes, this is where it really does start being reminiscent of... Uh, is there anything in here? No. Is that the lift mechanism there? It might well be. does start being very re reminiscent of Tomb Raider. Of course, we can't get up there, can we? Can we get up here? Yes, we can. Jolly good. And presumably into here. There are some bars up there, but we're not going to be able to reach those. Can I jump to somewhere from here? Well, you would think I could jump from here to there, wouldn't you, really? There we go. Oh, okay. And then we go this way and push this. Okay. Okay, we're just stacking up the boxes. Right. Uh, and we're stacking the boxes. Why? I'm still not sure about that one. <laughs> am, am I missing something obvious? We're shoving that down. We're shoving a counterweight down, which push, pushes that up. Aha. I see. Right. But that means, right, presumably I can get up here to get back up there now. Yep, there we go. And then we go back to where we came and onto the lift, which is now taller. Which means we can reach these. Ah, you see, that makes sense now. Okay, didn't make a lot of sense at the time. Oh, now is this, uh, can we get up here? We can. Oof. Again, apologies that it's so dark, guys. What what I might do is just put my gamma up a little bit. There we go. I've raised my gamma. I'm going to probably have to... Yes, get down, dear. Ooh, wow. I'm probably going to have to put it back down again. <laughs> you know what? This is a dark cellar. Therefore, I'm going to arm myself with something... And I feel like I ought to sneak full stop, to be honest with you guys. But, yeah, when we get back outside, I'm probably going to have to lower my gamma again. Because if I don't, uh, there's some water there. Hmm. Who, who, who knew? I thought there might be, but hey, it was better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Um, yes, because it's probably going to be super, super bright later on. But uh, there you go. So, sometimes in the game, I can barely see what I'm doing. And that means that you guys probably really can't see what's going on. I don't hear any ratty squeaking. And those torches, that glare is very pretty, but it's right in my face. Okay, so that's just some water. Okay, we came through there. There's a hatch here, which goes down. Probably, our problem's going to be down there. Oh, look, we've got a bloodied blanket, which we should look at, apparently. Ugh, not too long ago, someone bled a lot here. Yes, yes they did, evidently. Okay. And there's a bowl, like of bloody water and some rags, so like someone was tending them. Um, but what were they suffering from? Well, we've got a document there. Sell a note. Dave, I found you sleeping. I prefer not to wake you up. Sorry to leave you by yourself here for all this time, but I can't do otherwise. The others would get suspicious. Okay. So this is who was, this Dave was the blo bloke who bled a lot, I guess. They heard you in your delirium and they're still asking themselves where the shouts are coming from. Right, so these are the noises they've heard, I assume. I hope the medicine I brought you takes effect soon. I don't know when I'll be able to return, so I've left you the recipe and materials to protect, prepare new doses if you need them. In the meantime, I hope you reflect on what we talked about. Believe me, the trials are a necessary evil, are they indeed? And once you enter to become a part of our community, you'll feel like a new man. Like a different man, certainly. I put a lot of thought into it. I've convinced myself that helping you is the right thing to do. As soon as you've got your strength back, I'll accompany you on your path as far as I can. I know if, that it's difficult, but I have faith in you. 
Right, so I think we found something earlier, didn't we, that suggested that um, there was somebody helping someone else out that was injured and he was saying something about the trials as well. And this is what? We have found a recipe for restorative tonic. Nice. And for that we need curry plant, lavender and pot marigold. We're just carrying too much crap at the moment, I think, aren't we? So we're going to... We're full of something. Um, I think... Let's just have a little look here. Right, so that's my backpack. Yes, and that's my... Yes, okay, that's fine. We know about that. We're full, so we can't make any more tools. Uh, we can't make a new restorative tonic, which is kind of a shame, really. And then there's a lymphatic compression, which a, a lymphatic compression is going to be a step up from our current bandages. And I think this restorative tonic is, uh, yeah, it slowly recovers health. And that is going to be a, a step up maybe from these. So we should probably just make sure that our items don't contain... To, of course, we're carrying two dead rats at this point. So, you know... Um, not that we have what we need to make those things, those items anyway. So there we go. So we now can make a restorative tonic, which is fab. Um, can I get through there? Am I supposed to be able to get through there? I don't think so. That's just a bunch of barrels anyway. But looks like we should be able to get down here. One of these days, this girl is going to get down a hole that she can't get back out of, isn't she? Where do we go from here? Ah, that. That is back down the way we came, so I'm not sure we really need to go there, do we? I don't think that going down that way is really going to benefit us at all. I think we've already kind of found out what we need to find out, because down there is where we already were. Let's just check our quest. Tell the old man, that's right, yes, that's all we need to do. So, rather than go that way, we may as well go this way. Because here we know we're not going to be dropping too far. Just dropped here. There we go. And then I will go this way just to avoid, again, dropping too far. Here we go. Fantastic. Well, that was not nearly so difficult as I feared it might be. Or maybe I'm just getting used to the game, really. Go. There we go. Okay, and through we go. All right, and we did even lose that much hydration in the process. So let's see if the old guy actually genuinely has anything of any use for us. We haven't found a sanctuary around here to store any of our um, any of our unneeded gear. I've got quite a bit stashed in our storage box by now. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously we can drop a dead rat if. Uh, if we really need to pick anything else up, because uh, two dead rats, probably an extravagance. Hey, dude. Concerning your problem. Concerning your problem. What do you want to know? I managed, I managed to get in the to cellar. The cellar. Really? What did you find there? The cellar was empty. Somebody's used it as a hideout for a while. Ah, let's see. An injured man used it as a hideout. What have you helped him? Hmm, that might stir up trouble in the community, but what the, the heck? The man used it as a hideout, and one of you helped him. Oh, really? So that's why my comrade moved away from the valley? Yeah, I guess Anyways, so. Anyways, these matters are of no concern to you. Except that you made me find them out, dear. I think I've earned your help. I think I've earned your help. Well, yes, you've earned it. Ask me what you want. And I'll see whether I can sort you out. I've earned it, whether you can give it something else, isn't it? What can you offer me? What can you offer me? Feel free to take apricots from our orchard. Even though you've probably helped yourself already, right? No, Stop actually. For a moment, I haven't. Reflect. Have you ever given such value to food? Why hmm. should I think about the value of food now? You know, dying. modern society has never cared about the labour of us farmers. We provide food that promptly gets wasted. That's true Don't enough. you think that's like spitting on our efforts? Modern, modern society. society? I no longer wanted to work for a society based on consumerism. 
Here, nothing is thrown. Everything has importance, even leftovers. Our work is respected, and we can finally work happily. Here I can till you. the soil, and no multinational can take it away from me. Well, no, nobody yeah, right mind would want to come here, would they? Basically, you weren't happy Basically, with your old life. You weren't happy with your old life. Try and understand me. Modern society, among other things, pushed me to burn all bridges. Unfortunately, I had a fight with my son. We haven't talked in a decade. He wanted me to sell my land to a multinational. I would never have allowed it. But he went behind my back and I lost everything. I said goodbye to my property and to my son. Hmm, well that sounds more like it's a problem with your son and the entire society. Okay, what can you tell me about this island? Seems like a world of its own. What can you tell me about this island? The Lord to itself, it certainly. Seems like a world of its own. It is, and we're happy that it is. Out um. there, unfortunately, they're not yet ready to embrace a socialist community such as ours. Uh huh. And what do you have to say about the dead bodies? Oh, yeah. What do you have to say about the dead bodies? You can't see further than your nose. Brother number one wants to re-educate you. You must merit your place in our community. So everybody who was here went through all these trials, did they? And you all didn't end up dead. I'm finding that difficult to believe. And who is he? Yes. Who is this brother number one? Who is it? It's the man yeah. who built all of this. He carved out a paradise for us away from the system. The culty notas. Yeah, who is, is he? Brother number one. Who is it? Okay, he's not going to tell me anything more than that, is he? How, how is the, see, I can hardly tell the difference between the thing, the dialogue I haven't said and the dialogue I have. I think that probably needs to change. It's not very grayed out, really. So you're all very quiet around here, yes? So you're all very quiet around we live in a place where the worker is valued. We are content with what we have. This community gives only good things to its adepts. Yes, and you're probably afraid that if you speak out, you'll get murdered. What does, a, does the world out there know about this place? I think we can safely say what not. Does the world out there know about this place? Brother number one convinced Turkey to recognize the value of what we're building. Nobody can disturb us. Uh huh. Yeah, why do you all wear bandanas? Why do you all wear bandanas over your faces? All men are born equal. What about the women? Bandana reminds us that nobody is better than anybody else. Does it? Right. I think we have to say that I see everything clearly now, don't we? Just to get him shut up. I see everything clearly. So, is there a way to leave so, this place? Is there crooks as a matter. Get away? Why would you? Once you overcome the trials, you will no longer want to leave. Don't is give that, up. Is that true? Okay, so he hasn't in point of fact helped me at all, really. I'll return to my work then. Your work is sitting on that bench, is it, dear? Bully for you. You've got it good then. Okay, so he gets to sit on a bench. And I get to get eaten by wolves. Yay! All's fair in this wonderful utopian society. Okay, so. And he was, I was unfairly maligned. I have not been eating his apricots. I will now, though. Damn it. He didn't actually give us anything, did he? I will eat definitely of your apricots now, Sonny Jim. Absolutely. Uh, and they're a, an unlimited source as well. What is that? That's some wood. We don't need that right now. Oh, okay, right, so that was not ever so helpful of the dude then, was it? So, can we get any further in this direction? This is the question, where is our path from here? There's a very precarious thing, there's, there's something, does that say help on the mountainside? I think it does. Yes, it does, look at that, it says help. That looks like the parkour to end all parkour getting up there to me. That looks completely and utterly mad, and I'm pretty sure that it will be. There's also a very, very precariously perched hut right, right, right on the top. This has definitely all been built by a complete nut job, and now we know he's referred to as brother number one. 
but we still don't know who the guy actually is. He's obviously got everyone completely brainwashed into thinking that this is better than living in modern society. Um, modern society definitely has its drawbacks, let's face it, but, you know, generally speaking, you don't get eaten or killed by somebody with a crossbow. Press. The stone pillars. The stone pillars. Oh, the stone pillars. Okay, so I'm looking at my map, and uh, basically we need to go leftish to attain our goal. The stone pillars. I have read of the stone pillars. Um, we need to go that away, perhaps. But there is a path going this way also. Let's just fortify ourselves. This is where I'm thinking I could do with, you know, like a safe point before we even get there. Now, is this a lift? Oh, I think this is a lift. But there's no way it's going to work. Yeah, look. I need a key. Yeah. Of course you need a key. Uh, so eventually when we get up there, we'll be able to get a key and I will have a lift and an elevator to get us up and down. But right now, we don't. So I don't know what's in that direction. Curiosity and wishing to put off the inevitable is driving me down this path, I'm afraid, folks. I am sort of thinking to myself, the stone pillars, I'm going to die so many times. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, there's been a certain amount of, sort of complaining about how hard that actually is. It's kind of the ultimate parkour simulator, so, or oh, jumping and all of that kind of stuff. Okay, I have no idea what's in this direction. There's a long path. Well, do you know what? We're going to follow it. This is what we're going to do. Um, we've spent a lot of this episode, in any case, doing... Oh, there's still, look, there's perhaps a path here, actually. Let's just go up here and check it out. No, there isn't, actually. Is there anywhere we can go through from here? No, that just looked like a rock that I was supposed to jump up, but in actual fact, it doesn't lead me anywhere at all. But nothing ventured, as they say. So, yeah, we've actually spent a lot of this episode uh, doing, uh, yes... His, uh, his quest, that, uh, that old guy sat under a tree. And for arguably very little, a little bit of information, I suppose, is pretty much all we got out of the bloke. Uh, but on the upside, we didn't actually get anybody trying to kill us in the cellar. So that was better than I suspected it was going to be. So we may as well see what's down this path. And again, I'm uh, just conscious of the time of day and not wanting to... Oh my goodness, there's a big old, big old dangerous fence here. Which presumably, yeah, we're not getting over or through that, are we? So that is kind of end of the world territory. Although it looks like, well, I don't know, you never know. Trespassing. Okay, it's a little works sign on that fence. So you never know, the devs might actually expand the world and allow us out there at some point, might they? In the meantime, oh, good lord. Right, so it may be that I've come in the direction of the stone pillars anyway, because it looks like there's some silly parkour there as well. But there's quite often more than one way of achieving um, any end goal. And if we make the silly parkour a little bit shorter by coming up this hill, then good. If we don't, then uh, what I really need at this point is a save point, because, as I say, we are going to die so many times doing this. I think the slightest misjudgment is going to cause us to fall really quite dramatically. And more and more the further up we go also. So so we may just have followed a path that's leading directly to where we would have been otherwise. Uh, let's see. Yes, it looks like we need to go up here. Is there anything around here as well? Just explore everywhere that we can go at this point. And not fast, because sprinting everywhere when it's very close to noon is a really bad idea. <laughs> really not a good idea at all. I don't think there's anything to find here, is there really? I don't think there is, no. Okay. Well, you don't know until you look. So... Back we go uh, to face our destiny and just hope that there's a safe fire somewhere around here, really. Let's see, there's a path going off in that direction as well. 
let's just follow this path to its conclusion see where it leads us lots of berry bushes around here which is good look at that we get a fantastic view and I guess we're looking oh, we're looking north actually look this is a lot of island over there that we just can't we just can't access at the moment I think at this point perhaps all paths lead to doom um, all paths lead to the, the same ah here we go nice all right let's do this There we go. We've got a couple of cans of food here as well. Uh, we don't really need those at the moment. We're good for the moment. Did I just hear a wolf? Map. The map is what I'm after. Okay, so that's a... Okay. And uh, we're sort of heading in the wrong direction here. Oh, look at that. I can get this lavender. Does that mean that... No, because I'm full up, so I can't actually craft anything. And I have a feeling if I drop a dead rat, I still will be full up, because we seem to have specific... Specific crafting. Um, now, normally, or quite often... Oh, there's some parkour going up there, look. And then up there. Hmm. Quite often, we've got some sort of water feature somewhere near to oh good lord there's a crossbow dude and of course on sight of him she skids mercilessly look what the hell is she doing get out of it woman so there's some dude with a crossbow over there um but that is the direction that we need to go yeah of course it is how stupid okay right so we need to go that way um which is wonderful but i thought that we saw some parkour over in this direction as well and we did didn't we so and we're heading back in the opposite direction for that so let's do it let's go this way and see what we come to and there was some planks kind of going up the hillside and I kind of want to know what they are and now we've saved we should be relatively safe to give it oh here we go look Here's our water feature. Well, it's good to find that too, isn't it? There we go. Fully hydrated. All right. Now, where is that parkour that I saw? Somewhere over in this direction. Okay. It may be that we, the only way we're going to be able to reach that is by going in the direction of the bloke who wants to put pointy sticks through our head. In fact... There's no maybe about it. That is going to be it. The fact that is going to be the case, isn't it? We are going to have to go in that direction. We're going to have to go past him um, in order to progress any further, I think, basically. So we're going to have to run yet another gun. But we've had a little bit of peace and quiet now. And now we're, yeah, it's 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 dangerous entities and, and long drops. Here we come. So, uh, yeah, I think this is the way we're going to have to go. So we've got a water point up there, which is good. It's good to know. Uh, we've got a save point over here. But it looks like we have to do some jumps to get up there. Um, and the way we're going to do that is, well, we're going to start here by the look of it. And go across perhaps to there. I'm not sure. Or maybe we have to start here and jump across to there. Maybe that's it. I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. Does that look likely? It kind of does. Is that a buzzard that's going to rip my eyes out as well? Yes, it is. So, basically, doom, 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 and doom. But I'm going to save that for the next episode. Uh, so, let's look forward to that. Mm -mm. Okay, guys. So, in the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, oh, I'm in the shade. Excellent. Do let me know by hitting that like button. Also, feel free to leave me your hints, tips, comments, suggestions. And let me know what you think of the game. Uh, and I do hope you'll join me next time. Until then, keep gaming, keep surviving, and stay happy. Bye-bye for now.